Hi guys, it's Shumi and welcome back to another video. So today we are making the most British house I ever could have made. I was struggling with like what I wanted to build today and I was like, hmm, I can build these houses that are absolutely everywhere, okay? So if you've ever been to the UK or you're from here or if you've ever just like visited, you will have seen these houses everywhere. I don't know whether it's just an English thing or whether it is a whole UK thing. I'm just gonna say UK because it's shorter. But um, yeah, it's crazy. They're literally everywhere and I have absolutely no idea why but they just are it's kind of just a thing um but yeah i decided to make some they kind of all look similar on the outside but i didn't really know how to furnish the inside um because there's not a particular style for the inside people tend to just do it up however they want so some people's are modern some people's aren't it's kind of just depends on how the person likes their house basically but yeah that's that's what it is that's that's how it works um but i just like to build one because i see them all the time like on a daily basis so i was like i can build some of these and i think they turned out really cute um they would normally be like loads they're normally two together they're called semi-detached houses but they're like so what they share like one wall but they know they don't tend to have ones either side so it kind of they kind of just are in clumps of two if you kind of if that makes any sense i don't think it does but and also they tend to be painted different colors most people's aren't painted exactly the same because people just paint over it and stuff so that's hence why i put the little like drain pipes down the middle so that you can see where they're split you won't be able to tell by now but that's what's happening there um i thought i'd just talk to you um we are we <laughs> me um i've just got back from a little break that i took um not off youtube just like in real life <laughs> i just took a break we went and stayed at my grandparents house for a bit which was really cute i really liked it and it was just nice to get away you know sometimes when you're just like been in your house for so long you're like Ugh. um that's how i felt <laughs> um but yeah i just have a lot of stuff to catch you up on so one funny story we were packing up this morning to come back because it's just a few hours in the car um but we were packing up to come back and we'd like because we took our dogs with us um and i might post some photos of that on instagram i think i've already posted one of them but we you'll just have to check that um but anyway so we were putting the dog in the car and then we've got like the oh my god this is just gonna be another language barrier the bit at the back of your car like the lid thing i'm gonna call it a boot because that's what we call it if you're American, I know it's not called a boot, but don't kill me. Um, but anyway, so we put that down and then my dog, my puppy's tail got stuck in <laughs> It was kind of funny, I have to say. He hadn't realised that the thing was coming down, so his tail got stuck in it. He's all right. Okay, that's the first thing. But it was really funny because we could see him through the glass bit on the roof and he was just trying to like yank it out. It was so cute. Um, it, he, he was all right. It looked a bit dodgy at the beginning but it, w it was okay in the end so that was all right um and then we um went on a walk we went on loads of walks with them which was really good um but also oh my god i found out the other day i'm getting glasses which i have nothing against i think i'll be all right with them but like i don't have to wear them all the time but i was i i got so shocked when i found that out i was like i don't know if you've ever had that before comment down below if you've ever got told you're having glasses and how you reacted to it i'm pretty sure no one is like yay I'm pretty sure no one um, is really excited about it. But um, no, I, I was a bit miffed, but I think I'm over it now. It's it's not too bad. Um, I want to just go on to my survey that I did um, because I put it in my Pike Legacy. I might leave the link to it in here again because I know a lot of people don't watch the Pike Legacy. So if you didn't watch that, you wouldn't know. And if you don't follow me on Instagram or Twitter and you don't, and you don't watch the Pike Legacy, you literally would have absolutely no idea. So um, I will just get it up and see how many we, how many people have taken it. Um, let's sign in, and we will see. Basically, I just wrote a survey about stuff about my YouTube channel. It's just like questions, but some of them are pretty pretty. Oh, we've had twenty nine responses. That's good. Um, so we've we've um had we've had I've had some good replies, and it's just been really helpful to be honest. Having um your guys's feedback. So it's, it's, if you have the time, I will try and remember to leave the link in the description if you want to go take it. You don't have to. I'm recording this. I'm being a little bit reckless and recording this on the day it's going up. I did that with the Pike Legacy. This is so unlike me, but because I'm on half term, why not? <laughs> uh, no, but I'm just getting very stressed with work. I've got a lot of exams, um, but 
I feel like everyone gets stressed about exams, but because I'm, I'm a particularly stressy person, it just, it just gets even worse. Um, I'm going to try and find, thanks to the person who, I'm not sure if they're watching this, hopefully they are, probably, but someone said that I should find a thumbnail style and keep it like consistent so when you guys see your videos and your subscription boxes, you'll know it's from me, which I thought was actually a very good piece of advice. So if you're the person who wrote that in, thumbs up to you because it's all anonymous so I don't know who it is um but yeah that was really helpful so I think I'm gonna try and do that and yeah I just genuinely love these houses I feel like because they're just like British it's just like me <laughs> in a house I did a British house in my collab with creativity who's now Damon the Simmer I did that a while back actually don't go and watch it <laughs> if you haven't seen it it's really cringy um because it was with my old microphone that was terrible but well, gloss over that. I feel like my microphone now is a lot better. You can't even like tell that this microphone really isn't that new. It's like a karaoke microphone, but I got a microphone stand for it. So it works like a normal one, but I feel like the audio quality is quite good for it. Um, and also another question, which I just thought I'd address now is another question that I put in. Feel free to leave your opinion, by the way, I'll keep checking it. Um, but another thing that I put in was um, would you still watch Shumi Architect if it didn't have the machinima? And I just thought I'd give that one a bit of context too, because I like Shumi Architect. I really enjoy it, like building the houses for you guys. But I didn't really enjoy the machinima bit, and I feel like they would all turn out exactly the same. And machinimas take a lot of work. I don't know, I might do a machinima. Maybe like a Christmas one. I'm not sure. That is like something that I could look into if you guys wanted a machinima. Um, I've got a few of the YouTubers that I like, like Simspy, she's got a Halloween one coming out and I'm so excited for that one. Um, but no, I, where was I? Shroom Architect, yes. <laughs> um, so I, <clears throat> oh sorry, Ooh, my voice just went really weird. Um, but no, I asked if you guys would still watch it if it didn't have the machinima in it. And I'll, like a lot of people, like the majority of people said that they would still watch it so i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm sorry for the people who said no um and i'm sorry for the person like if someone watching this is like no i wouldn't really like it as much but i can but this is the thing the reason streaming architect hasn't been coming out that much is because i literally i'm like oh yeah i should really record some streaming architect i really want to but then i'm like hmm, can i be bothered to the machinima does it's just because it stresses me out so much it's just a lot of effort I, I mean it's not that I don't want to put effort into my videos but I hope you know what I mean like where I'm getting at with this one um but yeah so whew, that's that little thing over with we can just because um obviously it's a shroomy video we will do a shroomy shout oh well, that's what I can call it shroomy shout out a um uh, do, do, uh, Oh my goodness me. Hi, I'm back. I'm back. I just had to like people were around and it makes me feel weird. Um, but I'm also planning on doing some streams because that was another thing I asked. Sorry, I feel like I'm just going through it, but like verbally. Um, no, but I am planning on doing some more streams. Um, I really enjoy them, but I'm going to have to work out what I want to stream. I'm thinking that the Pike Legacy might become a stream type of thing and I might do a challenge because again I asked in that whether you prefer challenges or legacies and a lot of people said challenges like a lot of people said challenges which is cool I don't mind I just need to find a challenge that I would actually enjoy playing so yeah that's something that I need to look into and make a household for possibly so I feel like we're all up to date this is a 14 minute long voiceover a little bit crazy a little bit crazy for me but we'll be okay it'll all be good i'll find something to talk about oh yeah i was gonna do the shout, shout out that's part that's where i was going with this but it di it didn't really work um <laughs> spooky sense i gave myself a halloween thing but uh i don't really know oh right <laughs> followers uh we are going to go i feel like i always shout out the same people but that's because i literally have zero followers on twitter go and follow me on there so i can you can see what's happening and my great tweets um claudia grace and yellow turtle 42 see i can do this i'm a complete expert <laughs> um do any of you guys ever when you're like painting your nails this this is really off topic but i need to like get this out of my system i just need to have a little rant here y you've done it like you've painted them really nice you've tried really hard not to get it on the bit like around your finger and then you think they're dry so you sit there like for ages why does it take so long to dry like people who make nail polish sort yourselves out um but no you're sat there for ages like with your hands just like limply there so you don't touch anything or you do like the awkward wafting of your you know what i mean you know what i mean um but 
you do the awkward wafting and then you're like oh phew i'm dry and then one tiny thing just completely smudges one of them you know where it does that thing where it like crinkles up because it's kind of dry but kind of not and then it just completely smudges up and then you're just like why what am i what can i do about that no (laughs) it's terrible and then normally at that point i will like it will just bother me so much that i'll just take all of it off and i'm like sod it it's not gonna happen (laughs) really not gonna happen uh i don't know it's it's just it's a bit crazy really it's just a little bit crazy but i don't know i just uh it's it's weird it's it's very weird the stuff that i get annoyed with is like not normal for most people but i I just get very easily irritated (laughs) um but hey ho what can you do It's, it's not gonna bother anyone is it really oh i feel like 14 minutes is a little bit long for me, but we'll be okay. I will eventually find something to talk about. Oh, cats and dogs. I'm excited for that. I haven't seen... (laughs) This is so bad. I haven't seen the vet trailer yet. It's coming up on, like, my YouTube's, like, feed thing. And I just keep putting it off because I'm like... I don't know if I want to make a video out of reacting to the trailer because it came out whilst I was away. I couldn't do it at the time. So, I don't know, and also I want to do Halloween builds, but I can't, and it's kind of terrible because I don't have spooky stuff, and I feel like I'm the only simmer under the sun that doesn't have spooky stuff, so, YOLO. <laughs> oh, right, oh, sorry, I'm just watching Snapchats whilst I'm doing this. This is really bad. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. I think, do I tune out now? I feel like I shouldn't tune out now because I don't want to leave you hanging. Um. Oh, I know what we can do. Hello. <laughs> I'll just get up my Google Assistant. Oh, fancy fake Siri. Oh, um, okay, Google, send me cheesy jokes. Can you hear that? I don't know. If so, I'll cu- I'll cut the I'll cut me out. But how do you get over a fear of elevators? Just take some steps to avoid them. One more. All oh, right to have fun to the movies oh she's great isn't she just fabulous i mean um yeah oh god this this voiceover is going downhill very quickly okay if you've enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe oh i forgot to say oh my god i'm gonna be doing the other house in this set of two houses i just couldn't bother to do them both at the same time so i am gonna be doing the second one please like the video if you're excited for that one because i'm cheesy turn on my little bell you know Hey, um, but where did I get to? Like, comment, and subscribe. Be part of the Shroomy family. If you're new, please go and watch a better video. I bet if you're new, though, you won't have stuck to this far along in the speed build to work out that this isn't the right channel for you. But stay, we're all good here. <laughs> oh my god, bye!